A drink for good luck. Yes. I know I'm gonna need it. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Positive. Oh, it would have been even more positive if I had whiskey. You're out. You drank that whole thing, didn't you? Yeah, I had fun. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, hello and welcome to the Darkest Dungeon Power Hour. Getting straight into it. We got all the rest of the teammates. I finally recruited quite a few people because I had ten new open spots, but now there's only three. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know. Plenty of open positions, you know. There's plenty of room for growth and improvement. Just don't look at the graveyard. <laughs> Moving on! <laughs> <laughs> so here we have like the fun thing is um, I was just starting up because I wanted to go ahead and do the one that was called um, that was uh, we must eat and in that one I got to gather three grains of, or three grain sacks okay. with that you get a bumper crop so that way then the next time you go back into any of these areas you go ahead and you can get all these preserves or all these items for free after doing this one so this okay. one's fun already have myself a nice little uh, team, you know, they're like level 2s, or some of them might be level 4s. How big is your team? Oh, you do. You have a 4-man squad. Oh. That's right. You're only allowed 4, so you gotta be uh, strategic about it. Go ahead and just try and position them. Use their skills and abilities, so that way then they're in the preferred position. Because the higher or the brighter the color is right here, the... Uh, the more of a secure position they are and the more they can actually use their skills and combat abilities to really? properly help the team or actually do combat well. Cool. So they have their own sort of designated roles or you could sort of put them in a preference role and just have other people helping them and assisting them. So... I like this. Yeah. Mm. Jump straight into it. Let's go ahead and take care of getting ourselves some food because I am low on cash, so... Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have to pay for it, so whatever I can get right here. Here's hoping that all the grains of sack are really close. <laughs> yep. Get myself enough preserves that I feel I could survive with. And then just sort of limit how many more of these extra items, such as shovels and bandages and medicinal herbs, I should grab. There you go. Might be a little limited, but I still feel that might be good enough. And also now I only have 64 gold. Yeah, so the name of the game for this one is Finding Lots of Treasure, Gems, Jewels, and uh, Coin. <laughs> While also going into one of the most diseased ridden areas in this entire area that's really nasty looking. <laughs> oh, cool. That's a cool looking place. <laughs> oh, yeah. Although every single time afterwards when you go through this, you feel like you got a shower. Seriously. <laughs> Even the fiercest beast will lay down when it's not eaten. Steal their food. Yeah, I think I think the weirdest or like the thing that makes this just sort of creeps me out the most still is always hearing like the weird little suction noise. Really? Yeah, there's there's just like the background noise of things like pumping or whatever. Ah, trap. Oh. <laughs> I, oh gee, thanks, buddy. <laughs> but it's just like the horrible thing is of just hearing like the background noises because they sound like they're just sort of like it sounds like you got a cold and you're just trying to suck up snot sometimes. Oh. It's just nasty. <laughs> but hey, we got lucky though. One bag of grain. There you go. Sweet. So that's one of three already taken care of. Oh, yeah, and you gotta constantly always gotta keep lighting more torches. Yeah. Spirits are lifted. And purpose is made clear. Yeah, it helps with doing better at dodging, scouting, as well as also monsters not big, not surprising you. Or actually you surprising monsters. It's a really awesome one game. Yeah, it is. Again with the traps. <laughs> and they, well, they dodged it, so they're good. But hey, moonshine barrel, sweet. I might not have any whiskey, but they got shine. <laughs> there you go. And a good buff for him, so that way then he'll increase and have more damage in battle. Ooh. Light a torch. There you go. Nasty looking creatures. They're cool. There you go. Alright. Whee! Let's try and start lighting it up. Ooh, yes. Good. Good, good, good. Who needs something? You. Strike him with the holy lighting. 
Alright. Okay, here we go. Ooh, wow, they're getting good at dodging, that's good. Mm, didn't dodge that. Oh sweet, we can ignore him now. Like the poison that we gave that one will actually start killing it. Yeah, so you go ahead and strategize with either using bleed damage or poison damage, trying to take care of them all the while. The very same creatures, they have the same type of stuff. All the while also trying to uh, keep pumping up your stress, because once you hit 100 stress, is when your virtue chance uh, kicks in. The virtue chance kicks in to where either it becomes a positive virtue and where your character will be courageous or strong or vigorous or victorious, and where it'll actually add as a positive mood boost. But if somehow he fails that or they fail that, they then could have negative traits and where it's paranoia, abusiveness, um, overall like. Um, psychosis or it's uh, or like all these other horrible traits and when it's their turn and they have those negative traits they could either do harm to you they could pass their turn they could be belligerent and ignoring or they could even just straight out start trying to smack your own uh, own characters oh, wow. it adds a lot of strategy or it adds a lot of dangerousness to it You're good at strategy -based games. oh yeah i love strategy based games Men are better than women at strategy. Yeah. Strategizing. Eh, not true. It all depends on what type of mindset you got. It's true, but men have to be better. Bleeding again. Yeah. Gotta take care of all the swine creatures. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> There we go. Plenty of gold and a key. As victory's mount, so too will the resistance. There you go. Patch up our plague doctor here. There you go. Pop up in the chest. And My only 100 gold. Only. Only. The first test. only. only. Must be yeah. Yeah, that's why also, too, you um, purchase things like skeleton keys or shovels or torches. Torches are used so that way then you have more light. Because, you know, if you start fighting in the dark, it starts pumping up your stress. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah. As well as also other things like food rations. That way then you could start healing them like this way, or even using it to the point in where you actually need to, um, you need to start uh, taking care of it. Because you'll have random times in where they just go, it's time for everyone to eat. And then they'll start wondering, you know, if you have food rations, you could give it to them. But if you don't, they starve and they take damage. Yeah. It has a lot of strategy. I love it. Oop, Curios. Yeah, you got lucky with a scouting party. Let's see, Curios, Curios. Room with battle, another Curio. Quest item. Oh, this is where my other two quest items are, which are the cranes of sack, so definitely go in that direction. <laughs> I'll have to go through a flight. But, yeah, it'll sh it should be a quick battle then. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh, he's gory looking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That Lovecraftian horror. Yeah. What's the little thing behind it? Oh, that is a swan, uh, a swine spawn. Oh, okay. And you see, like, it has, like, mutated, like, creatures and skeletons or faces yeah. in there. They got real nasty looking with these kind of stuff. Let's see now. I'll go with the plague grenade. Hopefully it'll blight them. Yeah. And of course blight is just poison damage and it does it over like a set amount of time. So it's like five damage um, for each round that they go and it uh, lasts for three rounds. Yeah. So if you can start doing that, start trying to do damage to them, and let the poison take over for the remaining time. See? Eight damage for them. They get to go. Got lucky with the dodge on their vomit. <laughs> Other times though, when they vomit on you, they'll they'll give you diseases. Red plague, black plague, you know. All the different types of plagues. And then of course all the other ones like bulimia or anemia. Really? Yeah. Oh cool. That's when you gotta go back to the sanatorium and get it repaired and fixed. Oh wow. There you go. Let them heal. Ooh, skull toss. There you go. Oh, wow. 
go. And we can just start going after the ghoul. Ooh, 30 crit. I like that. Boys took care of it. There you go. Let's try and blight this one as well. Getting lucky with the crits. All right. More poison. I love my poison. Always have, always will. And of course we can let nature take its course while we continue healing. And nah, we can go ahead and purge. There you go. Oh yeah. But a victory nonetheless. When you got the right people and you got the right team going and the synergy it has, it makes things super easy. <laughs> Although other times around, when you think you got everything correct and you got the strategy, the game likes to kick you in the balls. <laughs> it does that to me so many times that I'm walking funny. <laughs> Every single time it's like, okay, got everyone set up, got everything going, let's go after that boss. After like two room battles, I didn't even get to the boss. I get my ass kicked. Aww. Yeah, luck. <laughs> luck gets thrown out the window. <laughs> so does strategy quite a few times. So many times I just went, ah, fuck it. Let's just have a whole team of like one type of person. Let them go nuts. And they actually get close to the boss and almost beat it. Really? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> it's just like... What's going on in this game sometimes, but eh, whatever. <laughs> it's working, so... Oh, I got rabies. <laughs> they vomited on me and I got rabies. <laughs> there you go, little drummer boy. <laughs> yeah. You stealthy bastard. Hey. I feel like going all Huey. Heal up everyone! The ball and chain. Ouch. Yeah, and I got stunned too, that sucks. Alright, let's see now, let's see now. Let's dart up this Ravy spawning swine. Oh, no, he's resistant. They have their own uh, resistance that are down below. So, you look down below. Ooh. Yeah, so that's also a key to strategy. If you like, if you know that they're weak against bleeding, if you get more bleed, um, it'll be less of a chance to them to resist your bleed skills. Or if they're resistant to bl or if they're not so resistant to blight, you know, then you can do a better job. But while also they have their own resistance, they also have a thing called debuff. And their resistance to that, which allows them to sort of negate the chance for your debuffs to weaken a lot of their other resistance. For example, the Plague Doctor there, he had to go through to see if he could have the ability to blight them, but they have a resistance to that. But then also he has an ability to start debuffing their blight skills, but if their, if their debuff resistance is high enough, they can negate that as well. So they can try and negate the blight, as well as also try and negate the resistance that reduces their resistance. Oh, wow. Yeah. Layers. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and purge out this other thing right here. There you go. Moved him back. Alright. Eh, I keep wanting to try and blight this one, because he has only a 30% blight resistance. Ooh, crit too. I like it. Alright, keep healing everyone up. If we got the ability to hew again, I want to do that. And this stupid guy with the hook hand there keeps getting me. Nope, I dodged it. Yeah. Let's get this guy. Zero damage, but he's blighted. And blight's pretty strong on them. Hew this up. Oh, dodge on both. <laughs> See, that's the kind of stuff you deal with. <laughs> but luckily he was still poisoned, so we're good on that. Ooh. Yeah, he's gonna die purely from the blight, so I'm good on that. Heal everyone up. Now we just gotta deal with this guy. But, he, but we're dodging him too, so I'm happy about that. 
more purge. There you go. All right. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Let's remove the portraits because I have no need for like the portraits or the crest or the deeds. No, those were mainly used so that way then you can start upgrading a lot of your areas in the town. Yeah. But since I've been playing this for quite some time, I kept on gathering more of those crests, more of those deeds, more of like the bust and stuff. Uh -huh. And when you do that, you use them to start upgrading areas so that way then you have another room to start healing people. Um, it might cost less money to go ahead and heal them, that kind of stuff. So when you gathered all that stuff in the very beginning, it's very important then. But now I can just purely focus on gathering wealth because that now has the key factor of being able to... Um, take care of your, your characters a lot easier so that way then you can start taking care of their diseases or whatever they have yeah and this final treasure of this grain sack we completed the quest so now we can just either continue on adventuring here trying to do battle or we can return to the hamlet what do you want to do i'm returning to the hamlet a few people are sick oh okay good idea yeah there you go. And it seems like quite a few people also leveled up too, so that's good. So they've also gained a couple things. Uh, see, this guy's got Ruminator, so minus 10% on stress heal relief. Shocker. This person can be stunned 10% easier. And then this one... Oh, they got a positive trait, which is robust, so they're disease resistant. As well as also they got disease, which is now the spotted fever, which now makes them 50% less resistant to blight. Well, that's that, a little confusing. Well, robust helps out when they're disease, such as. Yeah, but he, you said he got a disease. Yeah, you know, it's they got it now, but they didn't get it back then oh. when they really needed it. Oh. How come the bottom one has something? Uh, they got lucky. They didn't. They didn't get any negative traits, or they didn't get any like positive traits or anything. I'm not quite sure how they work, but um, it just seems to be a sort of a luck of the draw as well. Mm -hmm. And you're just supposed to work with what you got. Okay. Yeah. He is the town crier, and every single time after you go through a dungeon, he'll go ahead and like he might showcase something such as this one, which was the bumper crop, which was supplies as well as also provisions now cost 100% less. Oh wow! That's, the, awesome. that's the reason why I did the bumper crop, which was gathering the grains of sack. So the next time around, when I jump back into the dungeon, everything's free. Rations are free, torches are free, all those potions and like oh, anti-venoms. Yeah, because I only have 10,000 gold, and some of that's going to fixing the diseased people. Oh, does it cost a lot? Uh, not really, since I've actually fully upgraded everything. Oh. It actually reduced a lot of it, because when you were going through here, you had all these areas that were locked, and you had to use the bust, the portraits, the deeds, the crest. You had to use all those to start actually unlocking, like, treatment library or uh, medical devices or patient cells, that kind of stuff. But since I have it all fully upgraded, all these areas are open, and they're also pretty cheap. So we can take care of Spotted Fever, which only is 110 gold. We can do that. Well, that's expensive. Yeah. And then, of course, we also get rid of the rabies. And you see, like, those have some pretty negative, hard negative traits. Like, Rabies right here reduced his accuracy by 10, uh -huh. but increased his damage by 15. Oh, nice. Yeah, but no one wants Rabies. No, of course not. No one wants Rabies. <laughs> now he's got to deal with giant needles just getting jammed in his stomach. <laughs> Ooh, nasty. That's usually what happens with Rabies. Yeah, that's true. That is true. <laughs> so just playing on with the role there. Yeah, and of course you see like funny little things like here's like the farmer family right down here where they get funny with the art. <laughs> I enjoy that kind of stuff. They got a lot of that kind of stuff in there. Yeah. Checking on the stage go seeing if there's anyone, but they're pretty low level. But yeah. With this, people seem pretty good. Pretty resistant. So gonna embark again on a dungeon throw everyone out of the party, just put them back on the roster. Ooh, actually I need to go back. Because the last time around when I've been doing some fighting, quite a few people got stressed, so... Yeah, either it's by going to the tavern and going ahead and 
setting them up with bars so they could drink their cares away, gambling, so that way then they could have the thrill of winning or brothels because you know what's going on in there. Yeah. <laughs> Or they can also go to the Abbey, which is going to the Cloister, an excellent Pokemon, so that way then they can meditate. <laughs> or they can transept, so they can just continue to pray. And then also there's the Penance Hall, so they can just, you know, beat the devil out of them. <laughs> well, I mean, they're getting whipped, so... <laughs> Ow! Yeah. I mean, some people like it. I mean, this guy right here is okay with it. In fact, that's the only way he's actually going to reduce his stress, is by getting whipped. whipped? Yeah. He's weird. Yeah, you know... Yeah. Don't kink shame. <laughs> this one's going to the cloister. He gets to meditate. He's cool with it. Yeah. Oh, that's like the highwayman robber. There's like, there's either like six or eight different types here. And they're all really interesting looking. There's, of course, like the very important one, which I always say, which is the Vestal, which is the healer. You got other ones like highwaymen. You've got um, lepers that actually join your cause. You've got abominations who can turn into like this were demon. You, of course, you've got hounds masters. I love them the most because they fight with it within a dog. They have a dog as a companion, so they join you in their fights. You've got uh, grave robbers. Uh, you also have the plague doctors themselves. They already have pretty good disease resistance, so we don't know how they get disease, but <laughs> I don't know. You also have, of course, the Crusaders, the Holy Knights. <laughs> um, you also have um, the Arbalists, which are like crossbow women. So they always use a crossbow, so I always enjoy them. And of course, man at arms, you know, they're not really my favorite, but they get the job done. And of course, you've got the wonderful Jester. The Jester? The Jester. Everyone needs a good bard. He plays with a loot and he stabs you with a sickle. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. Lures you in with a, with a nice little ditty and then stab. <laughs> it works. <laughs> it does work. Though. It works. Mm. Let me sing you a song of magical death. <laughs> okay. Enough horsing around. <laughs> Okay, I don't know. I kept on talking up about all these terrible little creatures off in, in the war, and so let's try and get our hands on some formless flesh. Yeah. yeah, this is one of like the big ones that require people of champion level skill, so level 5. So people of level 5 or higher can do this. And if somehow we defeat the formless flesh, we gain a trophy, which is the flesh's heart trophy, which is... Something that allows you to have 50% uh, bleed resistance and also 15% max health. Along with that too, you might find yourself a tough ring, which is a very rare item, which 10% protection, 15% max HP, minus 15 on damage, but then also too, it's an increase of 10% on stress. Yeah, so these are the types of items as well that you can attach to your characters or give to them. So that way then it makes them stronger or it might damage certain items. So you gotta try and find a balance. So if you get something that's very high in there, which causes damage, maybe you could balance it out with another item or maybe their quirks. So it might balance them and everything might turn into a positive instead of being negative. This is in detail. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah I love it. Let's see now. I love my archer. He's got the prophet eyeball and the crescendo box. Always love my archers. I wish I locked in some of their quirks. But they seem to be okay. So, throw them in the back. What do we got here? Oh, we got a healing lady, or the Vestal. She seems to be doing quite well. And we only need one healer, although I love having multiples. Let's see now. I don't know why, but I've, I've had, like, some really good things going on with these antiquarians that was the other the other group right here okay. i like them but sometimes too they still are mm, they, they they sometimes don't help out a little <laughs> oh well we'll see how we do but we also need our i'm gonna grab myself a holy knight as well so corbett's gonna be joining in on the fray so let's see now yeah everything seems good on them Ooh, I think I'm actually going against Beast, so he might actually have a positive outlook on this all. But yeah, let's go after that formless flesh. And since the last time around I did the bumper crop, everything's free, so... 
I can gather all this stuff, and there's no worries. Nice. Yeah. Granted, of course, I can't give them back to him and get any money, so he can't exploit it. Okay, yeah, well... Yeah. But yeah, there we go. Fully stacked up, fully kitted up. I feel good. Here's hoping they survive. The spasmodically swirling, braying, and snorting half-corpses were heaped each upon the other until at last I was rid of them. The warrants had become a landfill of snout and hoof. Bristle and bone, a mountainous, twitching mass of misshapen flesh, fusing itself together in the darkness. Yeah. He's been doing things that are pretty naughty. Sounds like it. Yeah, and this thing's gonna be nasty looking, I'm just gonna tell you. The thing is more terrible than I can describe. An incoherent jumble of organ, sinew, and bone. It's a good thing you didn't eat. <laughs> I'm not queasy. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm I'm gambling on it being up in this upper right hand corner. Okay. That's what I'm gambling on. Oh shoot! Did everyone have like items as well? Yes, they did. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> oh, more torch. There you go. Ah, these little... Oh no, come on! No! No, 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 no. Oh. Okay, nothing of value. Good. They... Sometimes they have themselves negative quirks that are like... Kleptomania or like... Demon, uh, demon mania. And when you see like items like this, they might will automatically will do it without your control. Ooh. This bone thing, if they went through it, they could have gotten blighted and poisoned. Oh wow. But if I got lucky enough to actually do it, I could have actually cleansed it with holy water and would have been able to possibly find some treasure. Oh, wow. But since they have their own nonsense of either kleptomania or wanting to take items, they might actually take the items away from you without you knowing. Oh, gee. And it's not then in your uh, inventory? inventory right here. Yeah, so sometimes it's pretty negative. <laughs> and you do your best to try and destroy a lot of those types of terrible quirks or if it's okay with you, and you go, this one I can live with, then you try and move on and try and make an adequate party. Okay. There you go. Those guys were hungry, so fed them. The way is lit. The path is clear. We yep. Only the strength to follow it. I was right. Upper right hand corner. Here comes the boss. I'm surprised no one came after me this whole time. I was able to skirt this whole thing without anyone fighting me. This is weird. Really? This is weird. <laughs> Okay, and, and here's just like a simple trap, which, you know, someone's gonna possibly take the hit. Vestal, go for it. 70% chance to disarm it. I got lucky. Okay. This is weird. I don't know. Maybe you're my good luck charm. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. There it is. Yeah. Oh, great. Oh! Ow, ow, ow. See, this one right here, it has a, a complete total form of HP on here, so now is just the time of me just trying to just sort of figure things out. <laughs> Crap. Um... No, it's like I'm just thinking about what to do. I guess I'll try suppressive fire so that way then I could get debuffed. Although it does very little damage, but it'll debuff it there, so that way then this form of formless flesh will have reduced accuracy and reduced crit. And as they just critted me right there, I think that might be very helpful. Um, like double damage. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Oop, bone cipher. Try to stun me. Okay. How's their okay, their blight skill is also pretty high up there, but. I am going to try and start adding... No, you know what? I'm just going to go on the offensive. All right, we blighted it. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, these guys are strong. Uh, let's see now. Just start trying to smite it. Hey, get a crit back online, but it was only 11 damage, not 26 like them. <laughs> 
Oh no, I don't like those little things in the back. I don't like those little things. They can start healing themselves. Ooh, really? Yeah. Start going after it. Oh wait, also to reduce the blight. There we go. Cleanse it of my body. Ooh, there we go. Sanguine stroke, yeah. See, it just healed itself. Aww. That kind of stuff, I hate it. Only I'm allowed to heal myself, because I desperately need it. <laughs> Alright, I don't know. I'll try for strategy this time around. Maybe. Although, I like her as more of a poison person, but we'll try and add dodge to everyone, because I keep getting hit hard. Yeah. No dodge didn't work. Oh, just oh, there he goes. <laughs> he just died. Yeah. Damn it. Oh god. This this is this is when it all goes downhill so horribly wrong. Maybe you're not my good luck charm. Oh, <laughs> It's. I'm cursed. I don't know. <laughs> All I know is something shooting out of something that shouldn't be shooting out of. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm, I'm just gonna start trying to reduce accuracy. God, do I need it. Start going after this thing that keeps on healing it. Hey, dodges are finally kicking in. Trying to poison this sucker as much as possible. Uh oh. Healing itself. Damn. Death's door. Yeah. Oh shoot. Yeah, we gotta move her back so that way then she can actually do her healing. So, her, she's gotta start trying to take all the hits. Ooh, got lucky with a crit. Come on, come on. Nope, not her. Oh, good dodge. Come on, just let her start healing. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, great, now, you know, she's blighted. Okay. Come on. No, stop with the sanguine strokes. I hate those so much. Ooh, ooh. Cleanse the blight. Let's also go ahead and heal up a little bit. The promise of safety. And let's start just trying to strike it as much damage as possible. Oh, and of course it dodges. Fantastic. <laughs> there you go. Keep up blighting. Just keep blighting the frick out of it. Oh, she's a death door again. She's holding on for dear life. Not anymore! <laughs> yep, and it constantly changes. Oh, it passed. Uh... Oh no. Okay, they're holding on for dear life. Oh great, they're bleeding too. Oh great. There you go. Cure it! Run away! But the battle may get get won. There we go. There we go. They survived. They abandoned the quest. Yes. Gotta run. <laughs> I got Bible study. <laughs> there you go. At least I get a little, a tiny bit of money from, you know, all the stuff I got for free. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> all right. Last gasp. Plus one speed if HP is below 50%. Definitely gonna use it at that one. <laughs> Two people died. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. Trouble yourself not with the cost of this crusade. It's no end of forging you for all tolerance in your choice of means. Yeah, but um. I don't want people to die. <laughs> I just don't want people to die. Got lucky with a couple other people here being level 3, so good on that. So, these guys are pretty 
pretty also stressed out, but I can't take care of it because I need more provisions. So, what can we do? Sunshine in the thicket. I'll try that. I gotta activate three infected corpses. Whoa. So, all level three, so I got plenty of level three characters, so we can do that. And, yep, there you go. Bring out you. Uh, gonna bring out you, because you look pretty helpful. I always love the archers. And, of course, oh. We could definitely use a healer. Always using more healers. Yep, that works for me. Maybe also she could do a little bit of damage, too. Provision time. Your party is not fully outfitted with trinkets. Oh, okay. So, who doesn't have trinkets? Ah, these two. So. Alright. Yeah, definitely do the bounty hunter one with the talon. Also, although it increases his uh, need for food. But. Aw, oh, dang. I don't have any of those items that reduces the. Um, his need for food. That sucks. Oh well, we can do this. All right. Ooh, that was some lightning. <laughs> All right. There's the thunder. <laughs> the heavens are upset with me because I did not kill that formless god. Yes. Or the formless flesh. There you go. Try and up the crit on this guy as well. Vengeful Greaves. Here's hoping it can help out. Alright, provision time. Sadly, uh, I gotta pay for it this time around. But I, I think it helped out quite a bit. Well, not really, actually, but you know. I like to be optimistic. Yeah. And there we go, I got a thousand gold to my name. That's better than 64. Yeah. And off to the wheels this time around. These are cool looking. Yeah, probably should have grabbed more shovels. Need more shovels? Yeah, you're going to go through some thickets. You might even be able to dig a grave or two to maybe get some treasure. Oh. Yeah. Exercise the bundle of truth, and the land may you live. I'm always willing to excise bungle tumors. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, it looks like one quest location is close. There you go. What's in the box? Eh, some more deeds. I'll just take it, but I will be tossing those the second I get something else. Oh yeah. And you see like eerie spider webs. Yeah. And you see down here since I've already figured out, as everything has X's, I tried those and they failed, but this one actually succeeded. And when you got like an indicator like this, it means that I'm gonna get treasure in here. So the banjis protect protected the hero. This is what I found. That's actually not half bad. This padlock. That can actually be used by the abominations, and it should increase their protection. Although a tiny, slightly bit slows them down. But that's actually pretty good. I haven't seen that, so definitely take it. There you go. May we find victory. Oh no, not the ectoplasm. Gelatinous cubes of bullshittery. And ooh, maybe I could bleed a cube. Nope, dodged. Here, smack him with a hook. Ooh. All right, quick, hit it with a spiked mace. There you go. Ooh, crit 22, I like that. See, you might lose, but you gotta bounce back and go for it some more. Ow. <laughs> and they stun the Vestal. Why must you stun the Vestal? They're very important. All right, hook it. There you go. I hooked the cube. I'm mainly doing it for the mark damage, so that way then my crossbowmen. Oh, frick. They got that ability sometimes, they can actually bring back slimes. I know. This this towering one's a bastard. 
But luckily it's been marked, so now I just, hopefully I can kill it. But hey, it's destroyed again. And the best bet is to actually try and either destroy these blobs here, or try and destroy them all as quickly as possible. Like that. I got lucky. I literally had like a 20 minute battle with these bastards once because they kept on bringing back more slimes. Really? Yeah, it's like, I killed it, it's back, I killed it, it's back, I killed it, it's back, I swing, I miss, it hits, I'm dead, smack, miss, smack, miss, smack, it was like... Wow. <laughs> I didn't know a late night dessert was gonna destroy me. <laughs> Evil. <laughs> I guess they always say there's room for Jello. Yeah, really. Uh, there you go. There you go. The first test. Ooh. Now it must be there you go. Let me use up one torch. And yeah, I'm gonna. I'll, re I'll remove the other for more gold. I want as much gold as I can possibly carry. <laughs> I am poor. I got student loans to pay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no, it grabbed me with tentacles. <laughs> At least it didn't pull me forward, so that's good. There you go. Smack it. There you go. Alright, start healing. Dang. Close. Uh, I'm just gonna swing at this one. Damn. Nice crit, I like it. And everyone got a positive boost from that. Those little, like, dome things right there means that it gained, like, a positive stress relief, so it would reduce stress if they had any. Yeah. There you go. Okay. What needs to... Oh, actually, I need to move her back now. Boom, there we go. Since she got pushed back by that one attack. Um, You know what? I'll remove... You know what? I'll give her the holy water. Drink up. Add a little bit of buff to her. But I just want these emeralds. Alright. Ah, perfect. See, like, this is one of the quest items right here. Now we can go ahead and... Cleanse a blighted, fattened corpse. All right, remove those mushrooms. There you go. And I'll go down here because it's shorter, and then I'll just loop back up through the mapping area. Yeah. Fun thing is too, all these maps are randomly generated. Yep. We require only the strength to follow it. That's why I was really surprised. Ow. That was why I was really surprised when. Uh, when I went after the, like, the formless uh, creature and nothing. Sometimes I take two steps and here's like this army of monsters. And I was able to make my way all the way over there with no problem. That's why I was like, okay, something's gonna fuck me up. And it was the creature that definitely did. Other times I don't even get to see it. Yeah. Wealth beyond measure. War to the brave and the fool <laughs> It just messes me up so bad. Alright, what do we got here? I got lucky with a scouter. And at least there's possibly not going to be any monsters. Oh, look, a grave. Yeah. It, it shows, like, no monsters, but it could still go surprise, especially if you don't keep your light up. And then monsters might randomly spawn. Oh, there you go. Use a shovel, dig some dirt. Oh, uh, great. Uh, you know what? I'll try and get rid of this firewood so that way then I don't camp, so that way then I can grab me some onyx. And I will keep everything else. Yeah, I'm not going to go up to this cistern. It's pretty low value. Oh, we're hungry. There we go. Eat up. Yeah, see, like, randomly they'll stop for food, and if you don't have any food, they starve. And then they take damage. Make our way back. Ooh. 
Move, move, move. Whee! There you go. Off we go on a never-ending adventure where people die. <laughs> it happens, you know. Yeah, a lot. Of yeah. yeah. They die by things shooting out undulating tentacles out of things that you don't think would shoot out undulating tentacles. <laughs> yeah. It may. Would be nice if I could see those things. All right. Ooh, more gold. Yay. Oh, need a light. I got plenty of gold. I just need to find wherever these blighted, infected there's one. <laughs> it's been doing that to me a lot. It's like, where's the thing? There's the thing. Yep. Sack has gold. Papa Torch. There you go. I like the narrator. He's good. Oh, great. We got a blight giant. I, I want to smack the wolf first. There we go. Down, Cujo. Down. There we go. Ah, oh, shoot. It's so close to being destroyed. Ooh, good dodge. Oh, great. It gets to attack. Hey, at least it dodged. All right. We can ignore it now. The reason why I believe we'll take care of it next round, so it won't even be able to get a, get a chance to hit us. All right. Stun the giant. Pow. Ah, oh, resistant. That sucks. All right. Pop a flare so that way then we can see this one because it's stealthed. The light. The promise of uh oh. Confusion Spore. I don't like that one because it can mix up the party like it did. Yeah. And then you either gotta try and take on moves that allow you to move forward or back, or you just gotta literally take a turn to move people back in order. Yeah, it's a little frustrating. Uh, shoot. Yeah, see, like this one, I would have to move or I'd have to make them pass, but then they would suffer stress. I don't want them to move up above the bandit because then, of course, it just moves the bandit in her place. Let's see now. We're going to try and move you back here, though. Luckily, they can move two turns. Hook this one. Got lucky with the hook. Did a little bit of damage, but most importantly, it marked them. Ah, uh, I guess Basher. There you go. <laughs> yeah, life's a birch. All right, hook this one too. I do this for the markings. And yeah, let's move you back here. And we're gonna hit you first. That's one less stress demon around. Oh, it can bleed. Let's try bleeding him a bit. Oh, resistant. There you go. Ah, uh, oh shoot. Uh, keep marking this one. That way then our archer can actually take some shots at it, and when it's marked, it increases its ability to actually do more damage. Healy time! All right, just start hacking away. Start shooting. Ooh, 41. <laughs> 41 damage. See, that's why you mark them. <laughs> oh, here comes confusion some more. Come on. Uh, uh, you could try and hack into pieces. 50 damage, damn. <laughs> that's good. There you go. This momentum. Push on on to the task task end. End. I'm trying, just give me another infected corpse and I will, so that way then I can end this. Just curios up there. Maybe there's a blighted creature here, sometimes they don't show it. Ooh, a map with a pack. Curio, curio, curio. Curio, okay, maybe. Maybe it's up above. Maybe it's not too far away, because I'm running out of torches. 
This is bad. <laughs> My healer, then, the Vestal, will have to go ahead and keep trying to use the light torches. Or I'd have to start fighting in the dark, which then will reduce, will increase their stress. Oh, and it's more jello. Oh boy, there's always room for that. <laughs> okay, let's bleed some jello. Yay, that one will die. And it'll also vanish. Courtesy of either bleed or blight. Whatever body is there will instantly vanish. Sometimes it'll just leave like a corpse pile, but this one it'll actually vanish. Vanish. So hooray for that! We can also start using light, this dazzling light. It will stun them and will also increase our torch light. One less general. Let's go ahead and mark this one. Good dodge. And it made another. Oh boy. Yep, just like that. Just one big old axe swing and you're good to go. Come on, stun the jello cube. Nope, resist it. <laughs> Hack it to pieces. Good dodge. Didn't make a jello cube, that's good. We gotta mark this thing again. Come on, keep trying to stun. As At least our, our light is up. Hey, there's another. And there it goes. <laughs> it's like, I live! No, you don't. <laughs> there you go. Smack it! All right, our light is all the way up. We got a treasure chest. We got a key to unlock it to gain more wealth. Ooh, emeralds and anti-venom and a torch. I definitely want that torch. <laughs> That's more valuable than the emerald now. All right, what's in the sack? Oh, 25 gold. Eh, beggars can't be choosers. All right, give me this blighted thing quickly. I want to get out of here fast. Ooh, nice. Don't need no crest. And, yep, last torch. And, whoop, okay. Light is dwindling. Give me whatever this blighted body is quickly, because I'm, I'm all out of torches now. So now I'm going to start fighting in the dark. Oh, no. We got dim light. It's not good. Oh, it's very shadowy. So now stress will increase, monster accuracy and damage will increase, monster crits will increase, as well as also heroes being surprised, so surprise attacks. But a slight increase in loot, as well as also player crits, as well as also monster surprised. We'll see how it turns out. Oh, a little bit of food and some gold. There you go. All right, hook this one. All right, now there's just going to be a lot of dazzling light. So that way then we can start trying to bump up the light slowly into this thing. As well, also, she reduces it even more because of her dark abilities. There you go, she's dead. All right, time for flares. Start trying to light this place up as much as possible. Reduce stress because... Oh. My Vestal's a- oh, here it comes. The Vestal might get something. She became selfish. Her stress became so increased that uh, it gave her a negative virtue uh, chance instead of a positive one. So now, every single time it's her turn, she might say something negative or do something that might actually affect everyone else, increasing their stress levels. Yeah. Just like that one job I worked at. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, mark this one. Okay. Really now, I just need more light as possible, you know. 
start increasing it as much as I can. Even though it dodged, I still get that light. Hey, it dodged that. I'm happy about that. All right. Keep swinging at him. Hopefully I can start bleeding him. Uh, chop. Not a half bad chop. There you go. Ooh, it's finally bleeding. That's good. Get that light up there. More flares. That way that it increases the light. And stuns. There you go. We got dim light slowly going up. And it also stunned it too, so I'm happy about that. Uh, ooh, mark it again. Bleed it. Bleed has increased. Maybe another stun? No, its resistance was high enough. One thing they did so that way that you couldn't exploit that was they gave whatever creature got uh, stunned a 50% resistance to stun their next turn, so... Ow! I felt the pain of an oak. Okay, um... Yeah, I did. Pretty big one. Alright. Yeah, so now she's saying, like, some negative comments, or, oh, she got lucky and actually healed us. That's good. I actually wanted her to heal us. Uh-oh. Oh, no poison. That's good. Okay, please just chop this thing into little bits. Thank you! Monsters yeah. We got lucky with that. When he when he smacked though the creature, yeah. the Vestral said something like negative because it was like I wanted the turn or like something of that nature, which then increased the stress of the bounty hunter. So that's what like those negative traits and virtues do. They make it very stressful for everyone else. Yeah. So that's why you gotta try and sometimes try and plan out getting um certain types of items that might give a positive increase to maybe virtue being in the positive side instead of the negative. Like you have an increase on virtue or if you get reduced um, reduced uh, percentage on virtue, the reduction will make it more of a failure for you to actually gain those negative traits. And they stay with you until you're done in this area. Ooh, good dodge. All right. Oh, I forgot to move the archer. Dang it. Oh well. It can it can keep on lighting up the area. I need it to. And I just need. Dang it. I really should have been moving them. There you go. Keep healing the bounty hunter. Oh sweet. They can actually move forward too. A little bit of horror, so increased stress. And of course, this one keeps getting hit. Oh, great, no bleeding. Damn. Got lucky with a blind fire shot. I like that. I always liked the blind fire once. Let's see now. Dazzling light on this pump. Oh, it dodged, but at least we get more light. There we go. Finally, she's in a position to actually strike. And this thing will just keep on increasing horror and reducing shadows and light. Kill that one. Probably should have added a bandage to him. Alright. Blind fire. Blind fire missed. Come on, start bleeding. There we go, you're bleeding. Give this guy a bandage, my last bandage. And... Try and mark it. Increase my speed. Oop. That's good, go for a skull toss on her. She can actually take the damage. Alright, dazzling... Alright, we gotta heal. That's actually more important, try and get the bounty hunter up with more health. Keep blind firing. 
until we can actually move you out of position. There we go. Only four more damage. That's all we need to do. Then I can try and remember to use my brain and actually go ahead and move people back in the right position. Damn it. Yeah, she's starting to say negative things. There you go. Come on, good hit, please. Thank you. There you go. Works for me. All right, now we move our archer way in the back. And... Ah, perfect. Okay. Move you up there. There we go. That's the way it's got to be. Now, where the hell is this last infected corpse? Because I have no torches. I need torches, or I need to find this body. Literary gold, trinkets and balls. Getting darker, getting more terrifying. Gotta go down here. Give it... No, that, that's a terrible thing. Don't, don't mess with that thing. I'm just gonna tell... Oh, hi. There we go. Bleed this thing, please. Damn it, bro. Ah, how... There's that crit that they get. Okay, I think some dazzling light will be needed. There you go. Tiniest bit of light. Just the tiniest amount. Please kill it. Thank you. I don't want to deal with more jello cubes. Nope. Oh, two points. Ow. Come on. The light rewards are for me alone, and she misses. <laughs> Alright, blind fire. That works. Come on. Ooh! A juice tapestry. I will take that. It's actually very valuable. 4,500. All right, let's see now. Give this guy a tiny bit of health. Not too much. Because if I use up all my food, I'm doomed. Oh, yeah. And I got surprised hard. Ow. We need light. Not good, man. Not good. Oh, shoot. Whatever this... Oh, yeah. Let's start using these, so uh, then we can reduce the negativity. That's good. Okay, 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 come on. No need for negativity. Let's just kill these things and get done with it, because I literally had to walk through this whole area to find this blinded thing in the dark. This is bad. There we go. One less. Increase the light, please. Okay, it's only shadowy now. That's good. Although it could be very worse. Nope, it's going back dark. At least we're dodging. Finally, that one dies. There we go. One more. I don't have anything to stop the bleeding, although I can cure it with her adrenaline rush. Embrace the dark, no! Just reduce in the darkness here, you're evil. Oh, come on, now's not the time to miss. Now is really not the time to be missing. Oh, great, she's increasing everyone's stress now. But at 
least she's stunning, so that's good. There we go. Mm. Let's get rid of this onyx for actual solid gold. I make more money on this pile of gold right now than that. Okay, move everyone back into position because they really messed up the party. And at least though when we go back, it doesn't uh, the it doesn't actually make uh, the torches burn faster. Last barrier, please be near. Come on, I want to get out of here. Oh, there goes her wild needs to actually look at things. Oh, there's some food, because they were hungry. Oh, of course, it's right here. Is this where there's going to be a creature in pitch black darkness? Yep, oh, wow, we got lucky. All the way at the very end, this damn thing. Let's get the hell out of here. Jeez. There we go. Let's see what we got. No diseases, at least. And actually, a lot of positive things. Clutch hitter, 5% crit if HP is below 50%. Obsessed with killing, that's our best goal. Uh, quick reflexes for our highwayman, I think, or whatever his name is, I forgot. But also, we got Night Owl, plus two speed of torches below 26. Not bad. But everyone's really stressed out. <laughs> like, super stressed. Mm. At least though, at least though, we've got wholesome plant life has been spotted in the surrounding woods, a rarity in these parts. So 30% resolve experience in the wield on next quest, and then also 15% damage in wield the next quest. I know I've done it before and failed, but let's try and go after the Hag Witch. <laughs> let's do it. Do I have anyone of high level? I've got you three. And I got, I got, oh, we got some more people down below. You know what? Let's, let's give it a go. Let's, let's, let's take a crack at it. I'll take also another abomination. Tortured and reclusive. This man is more dangerous than he seems. Yes. Okay, now, these people need to reduce stress. So you go at the bar. You also go at the bar. You can go ahead and have fun gambling. And join them. Uh, hmm. I feel I'm going to... Am I going to need you? No, not really. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's good. Let's see. Yeah, they can go. They can... I don't know, maybe they'll have better better chances at the Abbey. Nope, they cannot go to the Abbey. Well, um, have fun at the brothel. There we go. And I think we are good to go in taking another crack at whatever's here. Okay. This time around, I feel like going ahead and donning some poison. Okay. I, I feel I feel a very need to go poisony. Okay. So I'm gonna have some fun with that. Wait, what is that? Disease resistant on the plague doctor. Hmm, I take it if I wasn't trying to save money. Very well. Going back into the wheels. Going ahead and trying to go after the Hag Witch again. Okay, you. You got you got some you got some stunny abilities. Let's see if we can give you something that would increase your stun. Increase your stun. Increase your stun. Stun skill chances. Stun resistance. Much better than that. Go for that. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Any any more things that could help out? Ooh, 
healing skills for this, yes. I think that's perfect. Summon of that nature. Yeah, that works. Give that a go. Then of course we've got uh got Mr. Blighty dude right here. Let's see now. Disease resistant? Not really worried about disease right now. Not really worried about that. Accuracy? No, not so much. I I want to I want to make sure that they they are blighted as much as possible. Yeah, this actually works out very well right here. Plague Doctor away. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, let's get rid of you actually for her. Switch up the positions. I'm gonna go ahead and add her here in the front line. And the last thing is to find who is the best out of the bunch here. I think it might be her. Yep, we're gonna go with her. Because she's got also poison abilities. I'm, I'm making like just a straight up poison group almost. So, gonna go after this. Gonna try and poison her, stun her as much. Like, try and get as much of that as possible. Go for broke. So, yeah. Let us do it. Last attempt, and then I'll probably be ending the power hour there. There you go. Take all that. Take some of that. Oop, remove that. A couple of those. And we are good to go. As time wore on, the Uriah policy of self-experimentation grew intolerable. She quaffed all manner of strange fungi, herbs, and concoctions, intent on gaining some insight into the horror we both knew to be growing beneath us. The change in her was appalling, and no longer able to stomach it, I sent her to live in the weald where her wildness would be welcomed. Well... Maybe I screwed up. Really? I totally forgot she might be <laughs> resistant to blight, but... There is method in the wild corruption here. It bears a form of wretched malevolent. Oh, dear God. Something tells me she's way over there. But... I am a man who likes to be sure. <laughs> Victim to the spreading corruption. Malformed with Mrs. Tet. Okay. Th this might be a dumb one. But I'm gonna go all the way over here. Let's hope there isn't that much negative stuff there. Oh, great battles. Either way, I'm gonna go up and to the left first. Because here's hoping. I am, I am hoping that she's there. That way, then it'll make this a lot easier on me. The way is lit. The path is clear. Okay, dogs. Only the to dogs that are surprised, but they have high resistance to blight. Well, I think I screwed up then. Ah, oh, they missed. Hey, at least they're blighted. Oh, dodging. Oh god. They hurt so much. Jeez. Oh, they're bleeding. God, everyone's bleeding. Luckily, though, I feel that I have a good team that could help out with that. Damn. Okay. Not good. Good dodge. 
good dodges. Stop it. Bad dogs, no biscuit. Alright, heal you first. Then a turn that will heal me as well. Start healing the party. Start hitting them with the vapors. That one's gonna die purely from blight. Start poisoning the next one. Uh oh. Stop it. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. There you go, everyone's healing up, that's good. Alright, start healing that one again. Come on, why are they able to dodge? They've been dodging so well. Try and dodge that. Oh, they got rabies. <laughs> From a dog, they got rabies. Ooh, crits all around. I like it. Alright, heal this one. That way then it'll also heal you from your bleed. Yeah, they got more bleed. Yay. <laughs> there you go, come on. Okay, that one will die from poison, so we can ignore that one. Alright, more poison for this one. At least their blood resistance down. This is how life is taken. Come on. There you go. Healing everyone. Finally, you got a good crit on that blight. I like it. And it'll die. There's a lot of treasure right there. I like that. Come on, good fortune, smile on me and make sure she's up here. I can use some good fortune today, come on. There you go. Corpse, use medicinal herbs to gain more rations from it. There you go. Hello, you guys. Oh, your blight resistance is pretty low. Alright, smack that one. It's been stunned. Can we poison it? Good on that. Poison it more! More poison! Okay, we can just straight up ignore it. It will die from poison. We can go after this big ugly now. Alright, poison this one up. Good crits. Good crits. Alright, and Noxious Blast. That one? Ooh, nine points. Nice. Ooh, good dodge. Stunny stun? Stun missed. There we go. More poison. Just poison everything. We're doing it. More of it. Keep reduce. Wow, the light has went down to 96% on it. It can totally get poisoned. Keep it up. Increase it. 26 damage purely from poison. I love it. Oh, so we got the worries. There you go, it's stunned though. Nope, resistant. I'll take it. Alright. Uh, do, 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 do. Who's hungry? Nope, no one's hungry. Okay. Get rid of these busts because I have no need for them anymore. We got lots of treasure and wealth.
I love it. Oh, that's one thing I don't like. I don't like blight. I don't like these giant cubes. No, nope, don't like them. Don't like them at all. Ooh. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, what am I doing? I should poison this thing first and kill it. If I can just kill it off with poison, its body will vanish and then it won't create any more cubes. Leave the other two bodies here. What am I thinking? Oh, you've been marked. Stun it. Oh, well, stun resistant. 10 points of poison damage already on it, so not half bad. Good dodge. Keep up with the Noxious Blast. 16 points of poison damage. Keep it going. Nope, resist that time. Stun it, please. Nope, resist it. Its accuracy, though, is low. That's awesome. Keep that coming. Okay, strike. a little bit of poison, that's fine. People are blighted, that's fine. Working of the prey, that's kind of a dick move, but kind of expect that from those things. Okay. If I can just put like two more poison points on it. Two more. Nope, okay, ignore it. Good dodge. All right, nine points of poison will kill it off in the next turn, and it'll vanish, so... Literally turn into, a, like, a jumbled pile and just vanish from acidicness. I will take that. Oh, I should have been healing. What was I thinking? Poison you two, please. Yeah. More damage. Awesome, that one's dead too. Alright, that's okay. That's fine. We just keep healing the party. You're dead. You're dead. And it's just this one. Oh, we can start healing off our own blights. Good to go. More poison. I just need to do four more points of damage. Ooh, you're evil. There you go. Heal it up. Alright, it's dead. Let's see now. Hey, I'm just... I just nervous stab it. There you go. Okay. Eat as much food, get rid of as much food. There we go. Alright, now what gets removed? I say you get removed. Pop one. The promise of safety. You get removed. And yeah, we'll keep that. What's in here? A hmm. Waiting to be spent. There you go, that works. Scouting. What do we got? Okay. Even though there's a secret door and that probably has some valuable treasures in there, we're going to ignore that and walk all the way back because it's not a boss battle. At least we were able to get a lucky with a scout right there actually see that. Come on. Oh, we got a trap. Good thing we got ourselves a master at disarming traps here. Although they only do 90%. Well, there you go. 
At least I was able to talk them up and they still succeeded. I hate it if I go, yeah, they can totally do it, and then fail. <laughs> All right, another trap. You're up again. That time it failed. Hey, at least I didn't shoot myself in the foot that time. Supply and wait. All strong and thirsting for blood. All right. Gimme, gimme. All right. Moving on. Oh, we got co we got the uh, cohesive ectoplasm. Let's try. That was actually pretty successful. I like that. Heal everyone up. You? Oh, so close. Maybe this will succeed. Nah. They're both gonna have one point of damage each. They might actually spawn a big one. Maybe not. Now it's just this one. Well, it spawned one. That one goes. Now we're in a dangerous spot. That one's stunned. See, look, now it's making more. That one's dead. That one's dead. Now here comes the danger because they could possibly make more. Okay. Yep. That one failed. Please don't make a slime. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Poison the other one quickly! Stun it, please! No, oh, resist it! No, oh, please don't make a slime, please don't make a slime, please don't make a slime, please don't make a slime! Thank you! Okay, we're fine. Let, let us go, let us go heal things. Everything will just vanish on their own, but, you know. Let's not leave the chance still. There we go. I don't like the slimes. So don't like the slimes. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Speaking of the light, there we go. Oh, hey, 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 back it up. You. Not bad. Oh. Onyx. There you go. Eating foods. Eating zip foods. We can toss that food for the Onyx. Who are you? Oh, you're very strong against blight. This sucks. Possibly debuff. What do we go after? Oh god. Kinda wanna go after you. Please heal everyone. This is uh see see this is where it's like, okay, this is when they start throwing every terrible creature after me, and I don't even get to see the boss. <laughs> Okay. Okay, you guys are blighted. That's good. That, that's a start. Things are howling. Things are reducing the light. Ooh, good dodge. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. I kind of want to go after this fungal claw. Ow. All right, it's it's blight has been debuffed, so that's good. We're dodging that. That's fantastic. 
Okay. You. Oh, come on! Now is not the time for your stupid dodginess. I should probably also increase the... Yeah, I, I definitely should. I'm gonna go after the other creatures because this fungal thing seems to just ignore everything. Wow, it is stupid resistant. Okay. I'm just gonna keep healing people. Ooh, thank you for that crit on her. She desperately needed it. We are dodging its, uh, its poison breath that sounds like a wispy fart. So that's good. I'm gonna... Being able to keep trying to poison these two. Dodging, so that's good. Maybe try for this one. That, that seems like a good bet. Just... Just pick on the one that looks the most beefiest, but truly is like one of the weakest, so let's go for that. Ow. That's rude. The Plague Doctor is plagued. This is weird. Please heal. Come on. Come on, 16 points of poison damage. If I can get it to 16, if not, it's gonna have to... Please. Oh, I think it's gonna go. At least one dodged. Nope, it will not, maybe. Awesome, it will die now, courtesy of the poison. Heal everyone up. I'm gonna keep trying to noxious blast this one. There we go. Ooh, accuracy went down. I like that. There we go. That's the ticket. Yeah, I know, this poor Vestal's dealing with so many poisonous gases. <laughs> it's like a chili cook-off, and she's not invited. <laughs> Whee! Oh, then dodged. Okay. Noxious Blast, why are you dodging now? What is with you? I need to do at least two more points of damage to this thing. At least two more points. And there it is. It will now die, courtesy of its own poison. We can ignore it. Let's go after this bastard. Reducing accuracy is always good. Healing everyone up. There you go. It's missing, that's fantastic. You think you're resistant to poison, but I say nay. 17 points of damage, it just needs two more. Just needs two more. Hopefully it'll stun. Awesome, it is stunned. Either way, it's as good as dead. There we go. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Yes. Alright, here you go. Let's pop ourselves some potions. Uh, that's good. Uh, it sucks that, you know, this creature is all the way back here. Please go easy on me. That battle says no. Oh god. <laughs> oh, oh no, oh, 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 there we go. Just making, making noises, don't mind me. <laughs> okay, uh, ooh, we could do that. 
bit. Let's just go ahead and keep poisoning. I like my poison. Stun it. Take that. It, it didn't take it, but I, but still. Hey, a little bit of blight, finally. There we go. Start reducing its resistance. Chip away at its defenses. That's all you can really do. Damn, that hit. Oh, Vampiric Spirit now, fantastic. And he got stunned. That sucks. 12 points. Probably should go after these stupid little worms. But I've already committed. I have committed to this. I must go forward. Two more points and then I can ignore it. Selfish. Oh boy. Okay, it's as good as dead. We can ignore it. Go after these stupid little bugs. Uh, ouch. That looked like it hurt. Okay, that one's dead. A victory. Perhaps a turning point. Let's see now. Maybe? Start healing. Desperately need it. Ouch. Man, this sucks. I don't like I don't like the stress thing, I really don't. The wounds of war can be healed. There you go. Never that works. Okay, if I can at least get to a place then where I can rest, maybe I can start reducing stress. Tasks laden with loot are often long on supplies. Okay, okay, okay. That's good. Traps are fine. Maybe then I won't get hit. Okay, you again. There you go. Uh-oh. Okay, everyone else's stress is pretty high up there. I hope the Vestal actually will gain a positive benefit from it and actually get, like, courageous or something. That would definitely help me out if, it, if she did. Ah, see, like the selfish thing will just start impacting on stress even more. In radiance, may we find victory. Okay, they're about to just break, so let's go ahead and rest. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. Okay, let's see now. Okay, prevent nighttime ambushes, yes please. Uh, let's see now, remove disease, remove blind disease. Oh, yeah, we can reduce, remove disease off of them. Please. Thank you. Smoke this leaf, it will restore your confidence. What leaf is that, sir? Alright, up. Uh, I'm gonna say up yours. Up the ability to dodge. Reduce the stress of you. 
And let's try and rest. I ignore all the negativity. Let's move forward. Let's just let's just take a crack at this. Who knows? Even with how negative everyone is, maybe. Be good to me. Be nice to me. Just just let me get there. Let me see it. Nope. Here comes people. <laughs> Start poisoning them. Hey, good dodge all around. That's good. Uh, illuminate that one. No longer stealth. Alright, uh, start poisoning the person with the blunderbuss. Ouch. Bleed resist, not good. Hey, well, at least we get some dodges in. Alright, you, you gotta go. Straight up, you have got to go. Two more points. Now we can ignore them since they're gonna go. Alright, the dodges are rolling in. I like it. Alright. Heal everyone up. Probably should have stunned them instead. Aw, oh, dang. Yeah, definitely should have stunned that one. Definitely should have stunned that one. Alright, you. Alright, ooh. Stingy. Probably should have bandaged. Definitely should have bandaged. Hey, just that way, then she stops bleeding. Oh well. Hey, wow! They actually did what I wanted, which was actually reduce the bleeding, even though they're selfish. I'll take it. This expedition at least promises success. Okay. Final battle. Doesn't appear to be any other people going to be coming after me, so. Hope for the best, expect the worst. There we go, pop that torch. Last shovel. Yep, last shovel. I'm gonna I'm gonna double torch it up. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Use up all my food. Quickly jump in there. Final confrontation. We made it somehow. Now here's this bitch who's got a pot. A smothering testament to the powers of corruption. Yeah. Alright. Stunner. Stun resistant. Oh, good dodge. I'm surprised by that. She's resisting. She's also tenderizing us. Quick, keep poisoning her. Poison the frick out of her. I want to see her resist nothing. No. Damn it. Start trying to heal the party. Yes, yes, I know. Strike the pot. But you know what? We just have to keep going after her. Because this bitch can damage us all. And everyone has good abilities to actually hit her. If we don't, she'll just start healing herself. Poison more. No, see, like, the taste of the stew thing is the worst. Stress, she also gets to heal herself. It sucks. The wounds of the war can be healed. Come on. Somehow she gets to move twice. Good dodge. 
just more poison for her. More poison, please. Oh, come on. And now the true test. Hold fast. Or expire. Yeah, I know. They're already stressed out enough, though. And Dodge? Nope. All right, now it's your turn. As long as our Vestal does not go into the pot, we will be fine. We will be fine. Uh-oh. Death's door. Not good. Heal, please. Oh, you can't do anything while you're there? Wow. Fine, gotta move back, I guess. Oh, and you can't- oh! I just shot myself in the foot! Oh, God. Heal him more, please. They're slowly just taking damage. Come on, positive, 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 please, please! No nope, abusive, damn it. This is gonna get real, real hard now. At least he moved on his own volition. But still can't go until they're in the final. Um. Stun, maybe? Shit, that failed. Come on. Okay. Damn, I like that. That was a good crit. Heal everyone. Compassion is a rarity in the fever pit No. Damn it. I think everyone's still in a good position where they can still do damage to them. Two good dodges, I'm fine with that. She has the most health. Keep it up. Keep it up. Her resistance seems to have wavered now. I like this. Great, she's healing herself. That's not good. Another good crit. I'm loving this. Ten poison damage. I need more. I need more. I will get her. I'm feeling it. Heal. Oh, that's a good crit heal. At death's door. You, you, you've done it before. You can hold on, buddy. I know. You're a stressed out mess, but we got this. She has no resistance to blight now. Keep, just throw every single poison thing you got at her. 17 points. No! Ah, oh, 10 points. Nope. Death's door. Not good. I don't think they have anything. Just keep poisoning. 14 points of damage. Yeah, it's moving back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, crit! I'll take those six points. 17 points of damage. One more go. Oh, one point. No, nope, more than one point now. Damn it. Blighter, let's go! Oh, come on, come on. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Yes! Oh, she's going down next turn. She's so going down next turn. Everyone survived this. Everyone survived. They might be badly burned with like third degree or even fourth degree burns, but come on! You're down from the poison. Yes! Oh my god! <sighs> yes! God, that bitch! She has been driving me crazy. She killed at least 20 people. At least. You got her. Yes!
and everyone survived. The poison worked. With all odds pointing to no. I am so happy. And I got 20k gold. Everyone's max now to level 6, and they are alive. They got diseases. They're stressed out. They gave everyone the middle finger to each other. But you know what? That's fine. We're alive. Ah, <laughs> uh, someone's a backtracker. That's okay. Someone's got the Black Plague. But also, they're a slugger, so that's all right by me. And also, Phil, uh, Fear of the Eldritch. We can take care of that. I am happy. I am happy. Oh, man. What little there is must suffice for the time being. Ah, oh, that's, that's fine by me. That's, that's fine by me. That stupid witch has been taken care of. Now the only thing that's been driving me up the wall again was I, I dealt with a 12-pounder, which was a guy with a giant, you know, like, Span Spaniard cannon. Now we got the 16-pounder that's going to be coming next. I know it's gonna mess with me, but you know what? I don't care. Everyone to the sanatorium. Take care of all your diseases. Have a have a trip at the brothel on me. Have fun. Not in that way. I'm gonna go soon. <laughs> Everyone, disease is taken care of. Yes. I will take care of the rest, but that ends the power hour of the darkest dungeon. I am happy. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Finally, you were my good luck charm, you were my bad luck charm, but then you were my good luck charm again. That's better. That's called a compliment sandwich. Yeah. And I'm hungry. I'm ending it. Me too. Thanks a lot. Yeah, yeah. I'm starving. Thank you again for anyone. Have a good one and see you later.